guys, this is John Spirit Warhammer. Hope you guys are having a good day. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to do a box offset. Pretty universal, you know, professional electrician type of offset. Um, you know, basically uses it to, since this isn't, you know, flush with the bottom of it, you, your pipe just can't go into it. It has to do a little, little baby offset into it, you know. So we're gonna do some demonstrations with the half inch piece of pipe. So the tools that you're gonna need for this, very simple. Gonna need a tape measure, a pencil, and your trusty bender. All right. So I'm gonna kind of explain to you guys the overall deal with this. Um, there's not a lot of craziness into this, so. You know, hopefully this will be nice and simple. So, with your box offsets, here's your J-Box, that's your connector. You're basically gonna have two 10 degree bends. All right, and I do the two by two method. I don't even know if that's a real thing, you know, but basically two inches from the pipe, we're gonna put a mark and then another two inches afterwards, we're gonna put another mark. And that's where our two 10 degree bends are gonna be at. And um, usually works out pretty good. So let's check it out. So let's start with our pipe. All right, do this little number. So, you can see we'll put a mark at the two inch and then one at the four inch just to make it easy. So why do I put it at the two inch to start off with, you know? Um, I do that so the head has something to kind of sit on and it doesn't round it out or whatever, you know? Nothing's crappier than trying to put a connector on that all ovaled, you know? No fun. So the first mark's like whatever, right? You just, real quick, you know, a little deal like that. Nothing crazy. And then the second one, I mean, you can go all the way around. And then once you get good at these little things, you know, you probably will, won't even really have to do any markings, you know, it's just, it'll just come second nature, you know, but for the cats that have just started now, you know, it's good to, it's good to know what the thing is right off the bat. So let's see if we can re-angle this bad boy a little bit down so you guys can see the bender. So on the bender, all our bends are gonna be done on the arrow. Okay, so the first one was gonna be put on there. I'm gonna throw it on the arrow, just like that, you know. And then we're gonna do it to the 10 degree bend mark which, I mean, that's pretty close. So it just looks something like that, where it's just shooting the moon, you know? And then what we're gonna do is basically flip this thing 180 degrees around, flip it back, put it back on the arrow, okay? Kind of level it up, you'll kind of notice it's like, see if I could view it. So, just like that, I and mean, then if it's like wallowed, you know, you'll be able to tell. So, you kind of eyeball it like that. And shoot in the middle of the camera, boom. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do a quick little 10 degree bend. Looks pretty close. Give it a little looky. Just do it kind of. Fix that real quick. Alright. Set our bender down. And this is kind of what an off, you know, box offset should look like. And then, 
do this little number, you know, and it'll go in just like that. And it's nice, smooth, clean looking. You know, that's how the professionals do it. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, my name is John Spear. I'm with Warhammer Electric. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, share. You know, make sure you like like the page, man. We're you know we're gonna be doing some cool stuff all the way from apprentice, journeyman, superintendent, project manager. You know, we, we're doing a little bit of everything. So trying to teach the next generation of electrician. Do it the right way. Oh, then always my fun fact. You know, it doesn't really pertain to this particular box offset since there's not that much shrinkage involved. But the shrink on an offset is going to be 1 16th for every inch on your object. So if you got a 2 inch object, well, that's going to be 2 16ths. There you go. Easy peasy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the 2x2 two two method. Till next time.